Well, hey, everybody, it's Pastor Martin. Welcome, welcome, welcome to a spiritual and common sense approach to marriage with Dennis and June Martin. Lady Martin is going to be joining me very shortly, but I wanted you to know that we are blessed to have her with us today. You know, back in the month of March, March 21st, matter of fact, uh, she lost her sister, LaShawn Pace. And uh, of course, it's been a time that we've had to make adjustments and go through the process. And there's a grieving process and those things that happen. And uh, she is slowly, slowly uh, coming back to some type of normalcy and being normal and dealing with everyday life and things. And so she's been away just sort of taking a sabbatical and taking a break. But she's back tonight and she's going to join me in just a moment as we uh, deal with a spiritual and common sense approach to marriage. We look forward to it. Please contact somebody, have them to join, have them to watch this video. We'll be back in just a moment. Hey everybody, it's Pastor Dennis Martin. And June. And June, and we're here with a spiritual and common sense approach to marriage. I know we've been away for a little while, but we're back, and I want you to know that we're grateful to have Lady Martin on set with us today. And we're gonna be sharing with you some things concerning marriage, and I know it'll be a blessing to you. Do me a favor, like, share, join our uh, group, subscribe if you're on Facebook, join the group. If you're on YouTube, please subscribe. Hit the notification bell that you'll be able to be a part of when we're talking about marriage and dealing with things. Well, Lady Martin, so many people have been reaching out to us concerning marriage. And one of the questions that was asked of us was if you as a spouse and you're outgoing and, and everything and your spouse may not be outgoing, the husband or the wife, and uh, how do you deal with that? How do you couple things together as far as bringing together the likes and the dislikes of one? Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, when we first got married, I lived to go to the wrestling. Yeah. And I still, I don't go to it now, but I still watch it. Yeah. And uh, we got married. You didn't know anything about wrestling, did you? No. She didn't, you didn't know anybody, <laughs> did you? So you didn't know anything about wrestling. So she said, you know, well, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go with you. And she went with me to the wrestling match. Yeah. And she sat there calmly and act like she knew what was going on. Act like I was interested. Yeah. Act like she was interested. <laughs> just get so it, I could be it. happy. I didn't know who was who. She didn't know who was who and what they were doing. Uh, I don't think she knew a body slam from a, a elbow. <laughs> <laughs> but we, we did that. And uh, then, you know, we got married, and we've been married 42 years. Yes. And uh, I discovered that she loves black and white movies, and she loves singing movies. Yes. Yeah, like, what's that? Singing in the Rain. Singing in the Rain. I thought it was Dancing in the Rain. What else? No, not that. What <laughs> Angela is Angela Hepburn. Who? Angela. So, you know. And Catherine. I'll, yeah. Catherine. So I sit and watch stuff with her, and I be like, you know, I'm gonna watch it with her. So I sit there and watch. Roman with her. Holiday. That's yeah, good one. see. So when I sit there and watch it with her, and uh, sometimes by shocker, I be like, that's Humphrey Bogart. She stopped looking at me like. Mm -hmm. You know Audra Hepburn. Uh -huh. You do. Uh -huh. <gasps> see, I know the. I, I mean, I've seen them before, and so you know, I sit there and watch movies. And uh, she, you know, he's singing. I said, oh, Lord, we finna watch the singing movie. <laughs> and these people be singing. And I be telling, they can't, they can't sing. Or either, those other movies, they not just singing. They dancing all over the place. Yeah, it's you, a musical. Yeah, you love those kind of things. Yeah, I love it. Black and whites and colors. And, mm -hmm. and so we had to get, it's you know. It's a wonderful we, life. Oh, see? So what we did, we started getting used to and try to work with each other on what each other's likes. And so you have to understand, we, we sometimes we make it spiritual and we'll say, well, you need to obey me, you need to do this, you need to do that. But the common sense approach, if you want to have a good and healthy marriage, is to also uh, learn to adapt to 
what your spouse may like. There's some things that she likes. Now, there's some things I like she just don't like. And so what I've learned to do is I'll come into my office and shut the door and look at TV or the stuff I want to watch. And then she'll watch it in the other room where she wants to watch. And then we'll come together and watch some things that both of us like to watch. And uh, even before we start taping tonight, today uh, we went in the living room and I was sitting there and she said, I came to watch TV with you. And I had a show on and, and we were watching the show and she sat there calmly and, and interact and we talked about the show or whatever. And so those are the things you got to do if you're going to have a healthy marriage. You can't be selfish as opposed to like, we just going to do it my way. There's right. some things she loves. There's some things I love. And we had to find common ground mm. to bring it together so we both could do the things we need to do. Now, what, what is something that I may like that you don't like? A show? Oh. No, we ain't going to talk about shows because oh. I don't want you to I want you to be naming my favorite shows. <laughs> uh, I love to go shopping, but you don't. I love to go shopping. I just don't love to go shopping all day. <laughs> hey, but it takes all day. Why? Because you have some things you don't like. You got to try it on. You got to, you know, look at it. You got to match. Mm -hmm. hmm. So it all it takes time. Okay. Well, I, I do go shopping. Like I'll take you, you to the, the I take you to store. the group. That's shopping. <laughs> no. <laughs> The grocery no. store is shopping. No. It's not? That's for that's for food. I'm talking about clothes, shoes, purse. Okay. I, I think it's I think that's yeah. You don't think it is? Mm -hmm. Oh, I guess not, huh? So well, I mean, I take you to other stores. I don't get out the car all the time. But I do give you my card. What is that? That's a good part. That's a different thing. I, I get, at least give you my card Thank so you can go in the shop. Thank you. I don't know if that's a good thing always. Because <laughs> she come back and be like, I spent. What? <laughs> so, you know, healthy, healthy communication, healthy adjustments to things that each other likes and what we don't like. Now, there are certain foods. Uh, she likes the certain foods I, I don't like and we make adjustments to all of that we make adjustments to a lot of things and we made over the years adjustments to now we sort of know uh, each other we know what what to expect what to look for and those of you if you are married think about getting married you're just getting married you're gonna have to make adjustments none of these things that we're talking about is divorce worthy and what we mean by that, you, you shouldn't be filing for divorce because, you know, she don't want to look at at the basketball game or look at. <laughs> <laughs> you you shouldn't be filing for divorce over that. You you shouldn't. That shouldn't be the case. You should be okay with that. So well, that like he like pickle eggs and you don't. Yeah. Yeah, I mean yeah, I like yeah, a lot of things I like that that she don't like and. Um, you know, even food wise, you know, we have to make adjustments. Uh, she knows that I can't stand, can't stand okra. She knows I can't stand tomatoes. I can't stand, what else do I can't stand? Uh, cooked fruit. I don't like, I don't like cooked <laughs> fruit. I don't like peaches and all. I like them, but not cooked. Not cooked. No apple no pies peach and all. No peach, no. Uh, peach cobbler's all right. I, I like the, I like the crust. Yeah. I like the, the cr crust. I don't like I don't like the peaches. Okay. I like the crust. I like banana. Uh, banana what? Not the banana pudding. If you what if I, cookie pudding? But that's not banana. <laughs> but it that's tastes cookie. like bananas. So I like that. And okay. and we make adjustments on that. And so we we learn to do that. And it's very important if you're going to um, survive. Now I know a lot of times where we miss it at is we we put more emphasis on the spiritual part of our relationships, and that is important. But there's also a common sense approach to marriage that we have to deal with and be where we use common sense, not just, uh, you know, 
all the time. Well, the Bible said this, the Bible said that, and you need to obey me. There's, there's a time that uh, your spouse may need some space. They may need a break. Uh, and I'm not talking about a break where you got to go somewhere, but sometimes just in the house, they need a space and time where they can just sit and do things or uh, use Lady Martin's thing is early in the morning. Uh, I always uh, tease her that, you know, she get up with the chickens. Because <laughs> she's going to get up. When I tell you she's up like early and 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 she's you know reading the bible or whatever and i'm i'm not an early i i stay up late and i sleep late but that's not her she gets up early and uh so we we learn to make adjustments with time and with everything that we do and it's important that we uh focus on that because if we don't we'll sort of be in trouble and so i want to encourage those of you that are watching us Make adjustments with your time. Get to the place that you understand that one may like one thing and the other may like something else, but you don't have to fall out about it. I think we don't give enough time in our marriages to work on them. I think we we don't work on our marriages enough. We The first sign of, of something, disagreement, or the first sign of something that we don't uh, agree on or, or jail with, we're ready to go to divorce oh, court. Time. Yeah, we read it throwing the towel, but it, it marriage, regardless of what anybody tells you, marriage is work. And the reason it's work is because you got two people that have come together that were raised different, that maybe came from different uh, places and they did different things. And so you have to make adjustments. You have to learn. I know the Bible said how we become one and this flesh becomes one. But we have to learn how to make that become one. It just don't become one because <laughs> we stood at the thing and put a ring on. No. Somebody said, well, I got married and we, it, it, listen, it don't start in day one. It just don't happen like, boom, now we're one. You may be one jointly to join together, but you're not one in the things you got to learn about each other. After 42 years, I want you to hear this, after 42 years, we're still learning things about each other. That's right. Still learning things. We're still uh, learning things and, and learning likes and dislikes. We're learning, still how learning maneuver. how to, how to maneuver. We're still learning how to deal with each other. <laughs> I know that sounds crazy, but it, we had to learn how to deal with each other. Because people change. They do. We and the, and the older we've gotten, we we sort of just just straightforward at each other. Yeah. <laughs> I may say something and she'll be like, I didn't like that. And I'll be like, oh Lord, what I do now? And I'll be like, don't be preaching to me. <laughs> but it's important to listen because a lot of times I have to sit him down and say, now you know when you said so-and-so, so-and-so, you sh shouldn't have said it like that. You should have said a different mm. way and then you'd be like, okay. Yeah, instead of being like, I'm the man. I said the way I want to say it. <laughs> right. We, then y'all probably be looking that's, at us. We probably be on social media. They be, <laughs> they probably be saying, Pastor, Pastor Martin, Lady Martin, the <laughs> divorce. <laughs> that's gonna be a problem. That's gonna be a big problem. Mm -hmm. it's gonna, you got you got to be able to deal with each other and communicate to each other properly. And so I pray and trust that this has blessed you today. Listen, I want those of you join our group, be a part. If you want to email us uh, any questions or things that you want us to deal with, you can email us at dlmjpmsr at gmail.com. That's dlmjpmsr at gmail.com. We would love to hear from you as we deal with a spiritual and common sense approach to marriage. And I know it'll be a blessing to you. And I know that you will receive and get something uh, from this as we're sharing with you. Well, Lady Martin, let's, um, let's pray for these couples today and ask God's blessing on them. Okay. All right. Father, in Jesus name, we pray for those that are watching, those that are tuned in. We pray that you would bless these marriages and these couples, God, as they come together. Those that are just marrying, getting married, those, God, that are contemplating, those that are engaged. We pray, God, that this wisdom that 
uh, we share with them will be a blessing to them that they will be able to navigate and maneuver through the things that go on in their life. We pray that you would bless them and let the favor of God rest upon them and surround them like a shield. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Well, listen, once again, Lady Martin, we're grateful to have you with us. And uh, we Great know that we you. lost our sister, LaShawn, in March. And uh, you had to take some time to, to sort, of, sort of slowly get back into things. And we don't take for granted that you're here tonight and to share with us. So uh, we appreciate you. There's so many people that really love you Thank and you. they really appreciate you. And, and they often say we, we love Lady Martin. So they love you. So thank you once again for being here. Thank you once again for sharing. And uh, I know that um, so many will be blessed because of what we share tonight. Well, the Lord bless you. We got to go. Thank you once again for watching. Please share this with someone. Please share it, share it, share it. Don't forget to join our group. And we look forward to sharing with you again real soon. May God bless you. And may all God's choice blessings be yours. Some way, somehow. Thanks. Oh, that's a different show. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, some way, somehow, things go work out <laughs> for you.